Okay, hi guys. So this is, you know, this is a morning video because I'm in bed right now. And the past 24 hours have been insane. As you can tell from the title, Fifth Harmony is still trending news. And for real, this is just straight up high school stuff go shit going on. Because the way everything's being like played out is literally like you're in high school or like freshman girl in college and I know how the girls are young but this is how this is being played out right now so much stuff has been released um let's just start off from where it all began the um first statement from Fifth Harmony that Camila left that her representatives told them she was leaving and that the group basically shaded her that they can still you know keep it together even though there's four now the morning of December 19th, Camila released her own statement saying that she had been wanting to go solo for a while and that she planned on doing it. And the fact that the statement said that representatives told them was just not true. So now it's a she said, they said, you know, situation, which is kind of, you know, what we were expecting. It's just we didn't see it that way. Um, basically, she says that if, she said that it makes it look like this was not planned. You know, she was planning on exiting for, like, probably, like, in the next, like, next year or two. Like, probably after the third album. But this one wasn't planned. Now, we, there's been assumptions that management has had a reason for her leaving. Now, here's the thing. They've, I didn't know about this till like yesterday, but they have been under new management for the past year. I know the name Roger that's been thrown out there. And basically, um, from audio leaked footage, not footage, just audio leaked, Lauren is basically saying how they've been working their butts off and see nothing, and they've been worked to the point where they are slaves. So, I am going to play it for y'all, and I'm going to see how y'all react to this. I just find it. Um, okay, let me just see if I can find it on here. Because this kind of explains a lot, because as you get, because if you notice, um, okay, here it is. It's going to play over again so y'all can hear all of it. Okay, so the timing of this coming out is just very, very shady. Um, we don't know who recorded this. We don't know when this was recorded. Um, from what we can tell is that, you know, they've been working their butts off and they see no, you know, outcome, which is a common thing in a lot of groups. This happens a lot. If y'all remember TLC, they were the number one girl group of all time. They got no money, you know, and in a video from a Q and A, um, someone asked, you know, what, you know, the best advice for getting into music industry. Lauren was like, read your contracts because... When you are starting artists and you have that first contract, then you don't read it and you get screwed over so many times. So management has been said to be one of the main reasons of Camila leaving. Also, we got to look into the shade. A lot of people don't pay attention to this, but there was a lot of shade in the group towards Camila. Um, she's been hanging out with Taylor Swift. There's been tension in the group. She's been seen to be kind of ignored and just being the silent type for not... I wouldn't say she's a silent type intentionally. It's just that they silence her. Like, they don't give her association. You can see so much shade going on, like, towards her. 
and just threw out the girl's attention. I mean, honestly, it happens with a lot of girls, but like when you're constantly together and you're on that, you know, success high, egos get in the way, a lot of, you know, tension builds up. So, man, I just feel, I mean, we can't really be mad at Camila, I think, because she she wants to grow as an artist, and I think that she felt that she wasn't given that opportunity. I mean, yeah, she was in, like, the main vocals, but she wasn't given that opportunity to, you know, they made her feel bad for wanting to do, you know, her dreams. This isn't just, you know, completely random. Artists and groups, they want to do their solo stuff, and then they come back. She did that. And we ain't ever see the girls say, oh, we're so happy for her. We're so proud of her that she's doing you know, the next step of her life. We never saw that. So a lot of people are throwing shade Camilla, but you also got to throw some shade at, you know, fifth, now fourth, Harmony. Like, honestly. I mean, Lauren came out with a song, and you don't see them shading her or congratulating her. Like, what the heck? Honestly. So... We've heard statements from both groups. Um, we have found out that management may have a playing role in this because that statement that 5H put out, that probably was not from the girls, okay? Camila would have told them up front. I mean, you've been, they've been family for over four years. She would have told them up front the fact that it was typed, the fact that basically. This was a, the, the message that came out, the letter, that was a marketing, you know, person. That was a marketing person release the statements. Because, honestly, they would have just gone on a video or just wrote a letter to the fans and it was posted on Instagram. This was a marketing thing. It was between their people and her people. So, <laughs> management is basically effing up everything, as they always do with major groups so this is only the beginning of it there's gonna be a battle and probably some legal battles you know to oh also a lot of people are shocked that she left suddenly you know but she was eventually gonna leave it was kind of really early but it's kind of coincidental that she left as soon as the jingle ball tour was over i mean she was done but her contractual obligation, her contract was up, so she chose the perfect time to leave then. It was up December 18th, her contractual obligation to Fifth Harmony. And as I said earlier, contracts, you know, they be tying you in. And I say this as I untie my headphones. Um, I'm thinking Camila wanted to leave, but she stayed. And because of the contract, she had a legal obligation, so she couldn't leave. The same thing, you know, with any kind of, like, contract and entertainment. You know, you got to stay until, like, the due date, you know. You got to stay in it towards the due date, and then you're free to do whatever you want. It's the same thing. Um, I hate to compare this to anything, but, like, with One Tree Hill, like, Chad and Hillary, their contract was up. They didn't renew it. So, that's the same thing Camila did. She didn't want to renew her contract, so... She got out of Dodge. Um, in my honest opinion, I would say Fifth Harmony. I don't know if they can do an album without Camila. I mean, their next performance is until like February, which gives them a little time. Um, I don't know if they have any more performances. I know they've been doing side performances since the tour ended. And award show performances. So I don't know how that's going to look or work out. Um... I know that Camila served a good part of the songs, so it's going to be hard to cover those and those vocals. I mean, I know some of the can hit high, I like hit high great, but you just lost a good tone of music that came together. Um, a lot of people are saying, what if, you know, they get nominated in the same work categories? Like, well, that should be interesting. And hopefully Camila solo, you know, career really works out she probably get in a new artist category but that's a lot of competition to go against a little new artists like alicia cara and 
regulars like Demi Lovato and Taylor Swift, and then there's the OGs like Beyonce and Rihanna. So that's going to be a lot of stuff on her shoulders that she has to, you know, work her way up, as well as Fifth Harmony. They got to work even more harder because you just lost a good part of the fan base and a good part of the music, so you got to work your butts off. Um, I'm going to see the same t- prediction as before. They're going to put out a crap album and then just go separate ways after that because, honestly, it's sad to see groups, you know, be start out, you know, from the bottom, work their way to success, be at the height of their career, and then just cut it by the time, you know, things start getting bad. I mean, that's just how it is, you know, it sucks, but hey, it's, you got to deal with it. So, it's your girl Simone. I am going to be doing my 12 days of Vlogmas. Thank God I got caught up with that, with the labeling and just trying to record everything on time. So, if you have any more thought, have thoughts on this, then comment, like this video. And if you have any more ideas for topics, if you have any news updates that's happening, um, hit me up with a message, comment below, and I'll see y'all later.